I'm Travis Danraj for Red Carpet Diary at the Visa Screening Room. Canadian Mary Heron has directed some of Hollywood's most compelling films, including American Psycho and The Notorious Betty Page, which screened right here at TIFF in 2005. Our very own Joan Kelly was at the premiere of her latest film, The Moth Diaries. This gothic horror movie stars Sarah Bolger, Lily Cole, and one of TIFF's rising stars, Sarah Gayden, as students at an all-girls boarding school. When sinister and unexplainable things start to happen, they suspect there might be a vampire in their midst. Are you awake? Yeah. Okay, I need your help. What? I'm gonna go along the gutters to see what's inside Ernest's room. Can you watch out? What if Ernest sees you? I'll just pretend I'm going to Kiki's room. Okay. I mean, I do think that there are similarities to, to modern day school and to schooling. And I feel like my character just goes through the normal regime of school of that, of obsessive relationships turning to loss. I think, I think young girls, especially at 16, are so fickle. They're just sort of trying to find themselves, let alone try to find their friends and who, they'll, who will be there for the rest of their lives. I don't think it's something, I think it's some, this movie is something that young girls and people of all ages can definitely relate to. So why was your character so interested in um, being a confidant to the character of Rebecca? Uh, well, I think he's just enamored with her. He's, uh, you know, he idolizes her father, her late father, who was also a writer, and he's a struggling writer and really looked up to this man and uh, finds out she's in uh, his class and um, it just sort of starts a relationship with her. and. Uh, He's just enamored with her. He makes it makes her feel uh, feel good to be around him. I think when you're a young girl and you uh, you know you're you're forming these kind of close, intense relationships with friends, I think it's really easy to get up caught up in the people who are around you and the people who you admire and the people who you like. And I think that that's something that's really interesting about the film is it explores the boundaries of friendships in that ways. And I think that's something that is a real kind of lesson that you learn as you're growing up. 